Hello everybody, welcome. Wow, it is inevitable in this lifetime we are going to have some type of sufferings, trials, tribulations, pains, chaos of some sorts, whether it's within ourselves, in our mind, with other people, whether it's just the circumstances. We're going to always be in unsettledness of some sort, right? I hope something in this video that I say may give you some type of peace at the end of the video. You know, it says in John that Jesus says, you know, just to, I will give you the peace. And in this world, you will have tribulations and sufferings, but be of good cheer. Take heart, for I have overcome the world. And God promises us his unsurpassing peace in the midst of hardships, challenges, and sufferings. I noticed I've been making my YouTube videos for two years now and I noticed the most popular video that I have is living together with manipulating in-laws. Wow, we have so many issues we can have with people because it is so hard for us to get along and for the life of us it's hard to understand another person because we think we think everybody is like the way we are, how we think, how we feel, how we act. Well, if I was that person, I would have do it this way. But no, we are all created so differently as individuals. But peace is something that is just so incredibly priceless. And I just encourage you today to value your peace of mind or strive to have it the best way possible. I like to share with you that lately, as you can see, I lost my voice. I had some sickness and I had constant coughing for about a week that got to my vocal cords. So I couldn't talk clearly for about three or four days. And let me tell you, one day at work, I challenged myself and experimented of keeping silent, not talking to my clients because at least today you can understand what I'm saying. But before, <laughs> my voice was so gone. Even my son said the other day, Mom, you look so young, but your voice sounds like you're 80. I mean, wow. But I challenged myself, you know, I didn't have, um, I couldn't communicate well with my customers. So instead I chose to st be still in silence and to be quiet. And there's a reason why we have two ears and one mouth, just to be in the present moment and to listen more. How challenging is that? How challenging is that for you to keep quiet? Our minds could keep on going, going, thinking about this, thinking about that, thinking about the future. And we want to say what's in our minds sometimes and it's hard to zip our lips. But losing my voice, it forced me because I really couldn't talk. And um, I just had to be in silence. And that is just a really interesting, different perspective on viewing people, viewing life. And I hope that you're able to change your perspective on how you view, especially your circumstance that you feel that you are stuck in today. Whatever challenges that you may be going through today, whether it may be with your in-laws, your spouse, your children, your coworkers, neighbors, whoever it may be, for as we know, it says in James 3, 2, that we all stumble and fall. None of us are perfect, right? Well, I love what Dr. Bruce Lipton, he's a biologist. And what he says is that, you know, everything is implanted into our subconscious mind up until when we are seven years old. So whatever you see, feel, hear, that is going to be implanted <coughs> into your subconscious mind. So if somebody's telling you that you, when you were young, you're stupid or, you know, or you're not good enough to be a, a sports player or you're never amount to anything good when you grow up or whatever it may be, anything negative is going to stick to your mind, right? And how much more challenging it is when we grow up to erase those negative thoughts, ideas that was implanted into our mind and to just change it with anything good. You have to be proactive. And whatever that is good, that is scriptural in the Bible, God's word of truth, let's replace anything negative and place it with all of God's word of truth. So Bruce Lipton, he says, <clears throat> he gave a scenario of, there was a little boy playing in his backyard one day, and he was in this backyard, he saw a snake suddenly. So he yelled out to his mom, 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 there's a snake. 
and his mom comes out running outside the backyard and sees that snake in horror and fear. Oh my gosh, get away from that snake. She is just rattled in fear. So of course, the son, this young little son is watching the reaction of the mother and he's taking in, downloading all her fears, all her anxi anxieties and worries. So of course, he's gonna all of a sudden be afraid of snakes, right? She, she brought that, her ideas, her reactions into her son. And sure enough, when he grows up, he'll always have fear of snakes. You know, I could just imagine. Then there's his next door neighbor, let's say another boy, and he's in his backyard. And then that same snake sizzled to the neighbor's house and crawled over there. And the boy yelled out to his mother, mom, mom, there's a snake back here. And the mother, she happens to be one of those, um, I forgot what they called it, like a, like a, a, a doctor for, um, for animals, right? A, a veterinarian, I don't know, it was a doctor, an, an animal doctor. So she comes out and she sees that snake on the ground and her boy is just standing right there watching, listening to his mom's reaction. And she's fascinated. Her views, her perspective of this snake, she is in wonder. She goes, ooh, look at that snake, you know, look at the color of it and the size of it. Ooh, I think it's maybe th perhaps this type of a snake and this and that. So rather than her neighbor that was in fear, all rattled up, she was more in awe. And she chose to see that same as that snake in a different perspective. So the mindset is switched from either positive or negative. So of course that boy, when he grows up, he's not gonna be scared of snakes, right? So let's be challenged today to choose to change our perspective in all matters in our life for good. You know, I have this client of mine and she came in recently and she shared with me, she went to um, church the other day, some mass, and she went there, just wanted to be in worship and just in peace. And she said to me, you know, there was this couple that sat, came and sat right in front of me during worship. And this, they were practically making out right in front of me. And she was really upset. And she judged this couple. He said, she said they were kissing and he was just grabbing her and this and that. And it disturbed her. It, it distracted her from worship. And I said, oh, wow, you know, was there any children there? She said, oh, yes, you know, she was, they were with their daughter, a little daughter. And I said, oh, okay, well, I'm really sorry to hear you say that. She said she was so upset. There was another lady that afterwards they both discussed how upset they were of seeing this couple practically make out, kissing and stuff during the worship. And I told her, I said, you know, I'm sorry you felt that way and it bothered you. But wow, you know, who knows what goes behind closed doors in everybody's story. Who knows maybe if this couple was on the verge, perhaps, of separation or divorce. And they made up and they decided to come to church and worship with their child. Maybe this is just the way they express themselves. Who knows everybody's story unless you're in their shoes. It's so easy for us to judge, right? And there was another person I know, she said she went to church the other day and during communion in the line, there was this lady dressed uh, up in this skimpy outfit, short skirt and all dolled up and it just didn't seem appropriate for church service. And of course, we're going to all gasp and say, oh my God, did you see what they, she was wearing? And she said, wow, she was just standing in line there and just waiting to get her communion in this skimpy outfit. And of course, she was probably distracted and just had the opportunity to just keep on judging. But again, James 3, 2, we all stumble and fall in many, many ways. We are not perfect. And who knows, maybe she, you know, maybe her um, line of duty of her old job, she, maybe she was a prostitute or maybe she just came back from a club. She was dressed that way, but she wanted to go church. Maybe she hasn't gone to church in years and she really wanted to reconnect with God. Who knows? But all of us will never know, but only that person knows the truth. But we are so easily and quick to judge other people. But when we choose to see things in a different matter and not judge, but rather choose to change our perspective, you know, there may be another part of the story that I may not know of. Let's choose, change our mindset 
and let's create more peace however that may look like you know that day at work I remember I had like some a hundred dollar cash in my apron pocket at the end of the day for the life of me I misplaced it I lost it I don't know and <clears throat> my client heard that but then I said you know perhaps maybe if I lost it it's cash maybe somebody else picked it up and may have needed it the cash more than I did so that helped soften her heart when she was telling me about that couple who was making out at church that night but you know back with like if you're in an in-law problem you're having mother father-in-law issues sister-in-laws whatever that may be we are challenged with so many different issues and scenarios in our life but when we choose to change our mindset to have more peace to value our peace why because peace is so priceless let's choose to just find humor maybe more in scenarios that can be upsetting to us let's challenge ourselves just to laugh at whatever it may be if you're having a bad day and one thing creates and it just domino effect you know it just spirals downward that bad incident in the morning spirals down to another bad incident another bad incident you think how much more can this day how much more worse can it be and it keeps on being worse and worse and worse you have to find some type of humor because hey you know we just have to roll with it right but in the midst of our sufferings trials any kind of circumstances that is just negative let us choose to just rest in Jesus and in his peace because God says and again in John in this world you will have tribulations but be of good cheer just take heart for I have overcome the world and when we rest in God's spirit in every scenarios in our life it does wonders for our soul we're able to view people from different ways you know sometimes when people are bugging us and it's just driving us crazy rather let's choose to find peace learn and be more aware of ourselves what triggers our buttons what triggers your buttons today is that is there that certain someone that is constantly just bugging you and just rubs you the wrong way pray to God and ask for forgiveness in your heart and choose to see that person from a heart just soften your heart of more rather judgmentalness but just love and forgiveness the way God Jesus he said when he died on the cross father forgive them for they don't know what they're doing and forgive in the Greek language it says to divorce depart just detach yourself from others who have wronged you Jesus says father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing so let us to forgive others detach ourselves just cut the cord anything that will help us to create more peace within our heart and with our spirit accept what is let go of what was and have faith in what will be that is a quote that I just heard recently accept what is let go of what was and have faith in what will be and I said I love what it says in Isaiah are you waiting for something new in your life this is a brand new year 2019 and listen to what God says and I say for I am doing I'm about to do something new see I have already begun do you not see it I will make a pathway through the wilderness I will create rivers in the dry wasteland so let us get unstuck from our situations that we feel in life that there is no way out let us not give up in our hopeless situations, but just have that hope and faith in God that He will make a way in the dry wastelands. He will create rivers. And there are new tomorrows each and every day. And that this new year, 2019, may be an incredibly wonderful, wow type of year for you that you would just be in awe of God's glory once we place our faith our trust and our hope in him and I like to share with you <clears throat> Hebrews 1035 do not forget the confident trust you have in the Lord the confident trust for it shall be richly rewarded so let us just keep on trusting God in all matters and scenarios in our life for we will truly be richly blessed 
And in Ecclesiastes, it says, For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. So if you're going through a hard time right now, or somebody's really bothering you, or you were like me in my video when I lived with my manipulating in-laws for eight and a half years, I truly felt like I was stuck. How am I ever going to get out of this, God? I mean, do I have to move out of state in order in order to get away and just, you know, escape from my mother and father-in-law? Those were the ideas, and I was just overwhelmed with being stuck the rest of my life. But there is a time and season for everything that we go. There is nothing new under the heavens. Everything has always already happened in the past it will happen and it will ha it is happening now and it will happen again in the future let us just roll with whatever may go and learn to have more patience trust in our heavenly father it says in proverbs 3 5 my favorite verse just trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understandings in all your ways acknowledge god and he shall direct your path and God will just give you his teachings, his guidance, as he has his eye upon you, his loving eye upon you. And just know that there is a season. There are going to be hard times in our life. There will be good times. There will be many different times. But let's just enjoy this once in a lifetime that each and every one of us have today. And I like to <clears throat> leave this last verse, Romans 12, 18. If it is possible... As far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. So that is my challenge for you today. Can you live at peace? For peace is priceless. And in any kind of suffering trials we may go through, there is peace. In the midst of any kind of storm, we can be like just really unrattled into the storm and so much in fear and just so much just just out of our minds but in the midst of that Jesus promises in this world of tribulation he will give to us his unsurpassing peace he wants us to take heart he wants us to be brave today he wants us to have courage in the face of fear just face it face the fear head-on and God will give us the peace and the rest today he promises God is faithful so let us work rather than, ra let us work within ourselves, in our heart, in our mindset to create more peace in our lives rather than looking around and being unhappy, dissatisfied, disappointed with others, just unhappy and feeling stuck in our lives. Rather than that, let us work more within ourselves and always remember the secret in Colossians, the mystery that has been known to the Gentiles. The mystery that God has revealed to all of us, and that is Christ in us, the hope of glory. And knowing that and having faith, having trust, and having God's peace, we can continue to walk out our journey in life, knowing that we have Christ, His power, and His unsurpassing peace. I'd like to leave with you this quote from Ralph, Ra Ralph Waldo Emerson. And it said, conviction, <clears throat> what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. So don't worry about the past. Don't worry so much about the future. But those are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. And what lies within us, Christ, the hope of glory, and that unsurpassing priceless peace that we can only get through God's Spirit today. God bless you, and I hope that you may be encouraged today and be blessed and have a wow type of year this year, 2019, that if you feel unrattled from your outside circumstances, through people, through circumstances, situations that <clears throat> is out of your control, be in silence. Live in the present moment today. Know that it, under the heaven, there's going to be a time and season for everything. Nothing's going to be permanent. But God is faithful, and He wants the best for you. And let's stay in that union, that fellowship with God each and every day as you walk in His Spirit. 
I'll see you next week and please consider to subscribe to my channel if you're new for this is a channel where I talk about faith and anything encouraging inspiring just to help us in our daily lives to give us some hope and some cheer see you next week goodbye